hey loves and welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here and in this video we are going to learn how to make this trendy puffy sleeve the sleeve is exaggerated it is a very big puffy sleeve and it has an organza layer or a net layer you can use an organza and you can use a net though on the thumbnail they used a net for the sleeve you saw on the thumbnail so this sleeve was made with 1.5 yard of ankara that is if you are making for the boat sleeve if you are making for the boat sleeve you need 1.5 yard of ankara then you need like three yards of net or organza so the first thing that we are going to do is to introduce our fabric i have my ankara i have my lining i have my net and i also have my peplum gum or thickest gum people call it thickest gum some call it peplum gum you can also use a color gum to achieve this because you want the sleeve to be very very firm so first of all we are going to fold our fabric i will be cutting just one sleeve i'm just cutting one sleeve and the fabric that i have here is not to one yard so i will fold my fabric and i will cut from the right side so that we can see my markings clearly the wideness of the sleeve is 20 inches 20 inches plus one inch seam allowance so if you're making this sleeve your wideness should be up to 20 inches so that it will look very very not like too big use 20 inches so that it will look exaggerated then the full length is 15 inches plus one inch for seam allowance that's the full length of the sleeve the wideness is 20 the length is 15 then you add one one inch for your seam allowance then i will go ahead and cut out after cutting out i will also cut out this on my lining after cutting out on my main fabric i'll also cut out on my lining then after cutting out on the lining i will cut out my net remember that we are going to add a net to this or an organza it depends on the one you want to use so this is my lining i will cut out my lining then for the hard gum you can decide to add it to your lining or to your main fabric you can choose to add it to the side that you want so for me i added my own hard gum to my lining then this is the net i've used this net before that's why it has this joining but i want to reuse it for the sake of this tutorial and if you are cutting out your net you should double it you should double it you can even layer it three times or four times it depends on how thick your net is so for this one i doubled my net i had to double my net if you're using an organza you can just make it double just make it double so after cutting out my net i will go ahead and place my net on my ankara fabric i'll place the net on the right side of the ankara fabric I've opened up my Ankara and this is my net. I have two layers of net here. I have two layers. You can see that we can you can still see the Ankara. So if you are dub if you are doubling your net, you should not make it too thick so that people can see the Ankara fabric that you are working with. So I'll go ahead and run a stitch on the both of them. I'll go ahead and join the both of them together. Then after that, I will add my hard gum to my lining. I told you guys that you can add your hard gum to your lining or to your fabric. I decided to add my hard gum to my lining. Then after that, I will turn my main fabric with this lining. So here is my main fabric. I've added my net to it. I will go ahead and place it on my lining then i will go ahead and join the hemline the down part just close the hemline and top stitch on the lining area i am done closing the hemline and i top stitched on the lining so right now you can you will see how i'm going to fold this you will fold your sleeve this way the fabric should be facing the fabric the lining should be facing the other lining then you go ahead and shape with one inch or half an inch one inch or half an inch is okay after shaping then i will turn you can see how i'm turning mine so after turning if you have excess lining you can just go ahead and trim off your lining a bit and just go ahead and trim off the lining a bit then after trimming you will run a stitch a stitch that will hold the main fabric and the lining together 
you can see i have excess line in there and i'm trying to like trim it off a bit then after that i'll go ahead and hold my lining and my main fabric together so i'm done joining the lining and the main fabric together and the next thing that we are going to do now is to gather our sleeve we are going to make our gathers so that we can get the puffy effect so just go ahead and gather this sleeve you can see what i have here you know i just made this sleeve for tutorial sake i am not joining it to any dress so i'll go ahead and gather it on my sewing machine and at the end of the day this is what we have here i hope our sleeve is very beautiful you can see the reason why i used 20 inches 20 inches is very perfect for this sleeve so guys don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that more people can get to see it follow me on instagram as so with each bye